Hi, it's Rich Lowen here from MakerRich.com. I use uh, Planet C software to control my CNC mill. And one of the problems I have with the software is that there's no way to zero out the X, Y, and Z axis. You can, it has a zero button in the UI, but when you click it, it actually, you lose all your homing and everything. So I built a little box here with X, Y, and Z buttons to, uh, to the zeros out the Z axis or the, the X, Y, and the Z axis. I also have a button here to, to do a home, to measure the Z height, and to go and stop when, on a program. And uh, the way I did this is there's a Arduino in there that emulates a keyboard, scans these keys, and when it gets a key press, sends the appropriate keystrokes into the Planet CNC software. And uh, that gives me some physical buttons to press instead of virtual buttons on screen that I had to click with a mouse. And uh, the zero offset in the Planet CNC software is hidden under a whole bunch of menu choices. You have to go machine, offsets, uh, anyway, it's two or three menu levels deep and it's a real pain to get at. So uh, it's very, very easy to use this to zero out the offsets. And I'll show you how I go about using that. So this is my Heimer gauge mounted in the mill and I've got a piece of aluminum here that I'm going to zero off. I'm going to jog over, move the piece in and you know, as, it, as soon as it makes contact you'll see the Heimer gauge start moving. And you bring it around till that one is on the zero. And now you're, I'm going to slow down the jog rate. there. Now that is zeroed on the x-axis. You can see here that the x-axis is at 0 0.15871. So now I'm going to go over here, press the zero button, and the x-axis is now zeroed. Okay, the x-axis is all zeroed, and I'll back this out. Now I'll go around behind the piece of aluminum, move it over, now I'm coming back forward. Slow it down. There we go. Now, simply press the zero button for the y-axis, and my x and y-axis is zeroed. Now, it's similar to set the z height. I have a measure z button here, and that triggers the auto uh, tool sensing to set the z height. So I'll press that button and we'll watch what happens down on the tool now. So I've got a little piece of printed circuit board here and I hold it on top of the, the work. When the tool touches it, it automatically knows that that's the zero point and it has set my zero axis and it has brought the tool back a little bit. This box has an Arduino board in it. It's a, called a Teensy. It's a very, very small board. I'll show it to you in a second. And I've wired eight inputs on it. I am only using seven of them here, but I've left some space so that I can put a pause button here. I can put an emergency stop. Another one I was thinking about is a go to, uh, go to zero, X, Y. So these are just wired straight into the pins and the pins are set to auto pull up. So these uh, are connected to ground. So when the, this gets pressed, that pin gets brought to ground and the, uh, the program senses it. And then there's a USB cable here and that's what powers it. And it emulates a USB keyboard. So these, each of these key presses simply sends keystrokes to the Planet CNC software. Here's the Planet CNC software running on my mill. And you can see up here the DROs, 
currently some X, Y, and Z offsets there. If I press the X, I'll zoom in on that for you. And here I am pressing the X zero, the Y zero, and the Z zero. Just that easy to zero at the axes, and that's setting the offset so it's not changing the actual home location of the machine. Just to show you what happens when I when I press these keys, if I open up, so what it's doing is sending key strokes to the Planet CNC software. And under the, I'll zoom in again so you can see, under the machine menu, offset, current, X, Y, and Z. So those are the, the keystrokes that I'm sending. Now you can see I've tried to program in some, some uh, custom things, but I never got that stuff to work. So it, what I'm actually sending is slash 45211 return, slash 45212 return. So these ones here, every one of the menus in the software has, here's what I'm using for start, stop, slash 401, slash 406. And same for home here, slash 470. So that's with the keystroke that I'm sending when I uh, when I use my keyboard emulator. Now, if I put a Notepad up there, it'll send the same keystrokes to Notepad. So there's Notepad. And we can see that when I press set offset x zero, four five two one one, four five two one two for y, for z. Here's the home. Measure Z, go, and stop. So those are all what's actually coming out of the keyboard. So it's it's as though I had typed those characters in. And in the Planet CNC software, those go into the real time. There's a, a little spot on the UI. That's uh, down here. And that's where you can enter in those same commands. So if I, if I type in there, slash four five two one one enter it does the same thing but of course it's a lot quicker and easier to use this box here's a teensy board and here's how it comes here's what it looks like and these are the pins that it has and this is where you go to get one if you're interested now the board is quite small. There we are. And it comes shipped on an anti-static, so you have to take that off because it's conductive. Nothing will work with that there. So there it is. So the pins that I use are the ground pin and then these pins down this side. I just programmed them to send keystrokes. So you plug this into USB and you program it that way and then you, when it's running, it then switches and emulates a keyboard. So you use the same USB port to program it and to, uh, and then for it to emulate a keyboard. So it's nice because it gets power and everything from the USB. It's a really neat way to set that up. And it's not that expensive, the whole thing is like $20, $25, something like that. So here's the Teensy board. And I'm just going to plug it in. And the program it runs by default is one that just flashes the LED slowly. You can see that going there. And there's one button on here which you can use to wake up the basically reboots the board here's the software side of things this is the Arduino uh, application so this is the, the environment where you write programs which they call sketches and you download them 
And then there's a little companion app with the Teensy board that detects when you click compile and it automatically will send it down to the board. So the software that I used is uh, actually an example bit of code for the uh, Arduino and it's a USB keyboard example. So I took that example and I haven't really changed anything here. Here's the, the keys that it's using. And then it's in here it sets each of those pins to a pull-up. So that means by default it'll sense a one coming in from those keys. And I call the keyboard begin function, something that was missing from the example. And then there's the Arduino loop. So it looks, updates all the buttons, so that does the button debouncing. And when you press a key on a, a switch, it doesn't just turn on or off, it goes bum, 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 and then goes on. So bum, 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 off. So you need debouncing in order to get rid of those extra keystrokes. Then down here, it's if you get a button zero falling edge, so that key has been pressed, keyboard at dot print line slash four five two one one. And that sets the offset X to zero. So there's my offset home, offset Y, offset Z, measure Z, go and stop. So those are the buttons that I'm actually using. Yeah, the stuff down here I was just trying out a few things. So if we compile this code, there, it's compiled. Now if I take the Arduino and press the button to activate, reboot OK, I believe that code should be in there, just for fun. The lead stopped, so that, that tells me there. So you can see on screen that the uh, application has been downloaded into this little board. And this is a brand new board I just unwrapped a minute ago, took this code and downloaded it into there. Okay, let's see if our software works. To test it, I just bring Notepad in here, and I've got the board running and I've got a wire connected to the ground pin and when I touch a pin you can see the debouncing isn't perfect here because I'm really just sort of scratching the, uh, the thing onto there but you can see that it's sent this slash 45211 carriage return. So that's a reset offset X. This one should be that's a home, so as I sort of zoom the key along here, you can see all these keys being pressed. So, now I just took this, wired it into a bunch of switches, and wired them to that pin, and that's basically the whole project. I still have the software in there to, that I used to drill the holes in this uh, uh, little case here. So, just for fun, let's just check out the the go and stop buttons. The first thing I've got, I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to leave the X and Y zero where it is, but I'm going to zero off this at that height. So here's the, the zero button, and you can see the zero there goes off to zero. Now the program is already loaded, so I'll press go. And there goes the application. Moving, drills the hole, moves over, drills the next hole. So we're just basically going in air now. It's so nice, the uh, servo motors are so quiet when they go. There you can see a servo motor there. So that's all started by pressing this go button and I can stop the job right in the middle by just pressing the stop button and that's 
So that's the same as pressing the go or the stop up here. Actually, touch screen display, so I have to be careful.